I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to convert metric units. We will also learn how to multiply and divide by tens, hundreds and thousands. Question here is rename each measurement using the new unit. 4.25 meter to centimeters, 0.14 meters to millimeters, 2.312 kilometers to meters and 12.4 centimeter to millimeters. Now you can pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Let us understand how meters and centimeters are related. Uh, let me write down the metric scale which we can start from millimeters and then we have centimeters, decimeters and then meters. Now it is a factor of 10 which relates each one of them. So when we have 4.25 meters to be converted to centimeters, we are trying to go from meters to centimeters, right, in this direction. So that is a bigger unit. To get to centimeters, we will multiply by 10 and 10 hundred. So that is times 100, correct? So let us do 4.25 5 times 100. So when you times by 100, you get a bigger number. 4 times 100 is 400. So you get an idea. 425. So basically, multiplication by 100 will move the decimal two places to the right. So it will be 425. So we can write this as 425 and the units are now centimeters. We can write this as centimeters in short cm. Now let us convert from meters to millimeters. This time we are going from meters to millimeters. That means 10, 100, 1000, right? So that much, 1000. So we are going to multiply this time by 1000. So we have 0 0.14 times 1000. Now, decimal moves three positions, one, two, one more. So what we can do here is, we can think about a zero here, right? So that will be the result, one more. So we get 140. Do you get the idea? So 0 0.14 meters will be 140 millimeters. Let's do kilometers to meters now. Kilometers is a unit which is much bigger than meters. We have meters, decameter, hectometer, and kilometer. Okay. Now, kilometer is much higher. So we have 10, 100, 1000. Gets multiplied by 1000. 1 kilometer is equal to 1000 meters. So we'll multiply 2.312 by 1000 means moving decimal three places to the right so you get the number 2312 2312 meters the last one here is centimeters to millimeters well to go from centimeters to millimeters we are going one place to the left that means we'll do times 10 right so we'll do times 10 we have 12.4 times 10. That means the decimal moves one place to the right. So we get 124 millimeters. So that is how you can convert very easily in metric system units from one to another. Millimeters, centimeters, decimeters, meters, decameters, hectometers and kilometers are spaced by times 10. That helps you to understand and remember what numbers to multiply so that we get the right units. I like you to go through this video once again and then understand how to convert units. Thank you and all the best.